the four prominent leaders of the Hebrews were Abraham, Moses, David, and Solomon. This is Abraham. He was the first known Hebrew. According to the Torah, one night he was praying, and God appeared and told him to go forth to your native land from your father's land. That I will show to you. Moses. Moses is the leader of the Israelites during the Exodus. According to the Bible, Moses was born to a slave mother. She put him in a basket and placed him in the Nile. He was found by an Egyptian princess and was raised in Egypt. When Moses discovered he was an Israelite, he went to the Pharaoh and asked for all the Israelites to be free. When the Pharaoh refused, God gave Moses the ability to put a plague on the Egyptians. It, this was that the for all firstborn Egyptians died. Finally, the Pharaoh agreed to let the Israelites go. Their journey took 40 years. On the top of Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the Torah. This is David. When David was a young shepherd, he was asked to play the harp for King Saul, who had a nervous condition. King Saul was also the first king of Israel. In the year 1000 BCE, the Israelites and the Philistines were at war. One of the Philistine warriors, Goliath, asked the Israelites to send one person for him to fight. David accepted the challenge. David stuck Goliath in the head with a rock. He died. When King Saul died in battle, David was chosen to be the new king. David brought all the Israel together, all Israel together, for the first time and also captured Jerusalem. He carried the Ark of Covenant, which was a holy object to his people. His son Solomon followed him as a king after his death. This is Solomon. Solomon is said to have written many proverbs and the book of Ossesilus. He's a wise man and brought peace to the people. The name Solomon actually means peace. He wrote many proverbs and started many building projects. One of his most famous building projects was the Wailing Wall. His, one of his most beautiful building projects was the main temple of Jerusalem.